Hey there YouTubers, it's me Sarah again, and this video is going to be a product review, and I paid for this with my own money, so I did not get paid for any of this. I bought it myself, and I'm just going to share you, share with you my opinion on this product. Well, for starters, I have really oily skin, and this foundation is not working for my skin. I mean, right now, I just put it on, and it's, my face is already getting oily. <sighs> what else can I say? It has SPF 18 in it, and my color is 120, which is classic ivory. I had to read it for a second there classic ivory and it's more for skin that's dry to oily and I'm really really oily and this is not working out so hopefully I'm going to be switching my foundation to the L'Oreal Magic Smooth and I've seen lots of reviews on it and so far people are really liking it so I'm gonna try that and hopefully I might do a product review when I do get it but I have had the fit me for quite some time now and honestly I don't wear it that much because well it's you know summer now and it's too heavy for summer makeup for me anyways for other people it may work just fine, it's just my opinion, but this is what it looks like. I do have to say I like the jar, but I wish it had a pump, and it looks like that. And the, the product itself seems pretty light at first when you first get it, but then once you actually start wearing it, it, it you find it to be really heavy. And I usually put it on the back of my hand a little bit and then put it on with my foundation brush. Well, it goes on a little bit streaky, but then when it dries, it blends in so it's not streaky anymore. And I am wearing it right now with the Maybelline concealer that was right next to the Fit Me, so I picked them up together. And this concealer, I have to say, is also really, really good. So if you don't like the Fit Me, you can at least try this. This works really, really well to conceal. As in, like, coverage-wise, it's low to medium coverage. It doesn't really do well in the coverage area. Like, if you have redness, I mean, it'll cover the redness, but if you have like big pimples like I do, these I'm breaking out from stress and whatnot. And I do use two types of concealers, this one and my other one, my two in or three in one, truer little one. And I have to say that for me it wasn't worth the buy. It was actually really cheap for a foundation anyways. Excuse me. Um, I'm not really liking this product at all. I mean, yes, it, it is. Like, it does its job and, you know, everything like that. And other people may like this, but I don't. And I still have a lot left, as you can tell, because I don't really use it. And for blending-wise, it, it makes your skin tanner. It tans your skin, basically. And as you can see, I tried blending it down to my neck, it didn't work really well. And I actually had to take some of it off because you could see this big old line going across. A really dark tan to white. And yeah, it didn't look good at all. I mean, it probably doesn't look good now because I don't really wear foundation. If I do, I prefer to wear bare minerals or some type of mineral foundation because it's much lighter on your skin and it actually does a better job than a liquid foundation and I do put my foundation or a little bit of the other concealer on first and then this 
and then the concealer again, and then the powder over top to lock it all in. And right now it's doing its job so far. So I don't know, it has like its days of working and not working. Because I'm inside and not outside. If I were to go outside, it'd be melting down my face. That's how hot it is here. But I hope you guys enjoyed this review. And if you like this, if you've already seen other reviews and they were good or bad, you know, you can go on your own opinion. And that's all I have to say, really. Thank you for watching. Bye!